Ain't gonna do it. Ain't gonna do it. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton. I am your humble narrator and welcome to Dino Park Tycoon. A game that I've talked quite a bit about. Hey, maybe we're gonna do this on the channel, blah blah blah. And now it is time. It's a game that I played quite a bit with my cousin when I was younger. There's some uh, developer credits. If you're if you're interested in that, you probably could just go look it up on Wikipedia. So we'll start up a new game, and uh, hopefully you can learn some stuff along the way. The bank's approved a business loan of five thousand dollars. Payments must be made monthly. Remember that you have to buy land, fencing, dinosaurs, and food. Good luck on your venture. Oh, thank you so much. Have to buy some land at the real estate office. There are three types of land, desert, plains, and marsh. Uh, they each have different peak seasons. I know that desert, uh, people don't like to come during the summer if you have a desert park. I think plains might be the best, um, because it does offer the, the widest variety of dinos. And the marsh is also pretty decent. Um, but yeah, the, the amount of money per acre is troubling. So I'm going to take Desert because it is half the price of the Plains. Uh, doesn't give me as many options, but that's just fine. We will make it work. You want to place your first dinosaur relatively close to the front gate here. So probably one of these three pens. And uh, that's just so visitors can get there more quicklier. We'll have to buy some fencing, which uh, right now I can only afford chain link. I could do wood, but that's that's not a good idea. Do not try to contain a dinosaur with wood. <laughs> a disaster waiting to happen. Jurassic Park all over again. So uh, we need an employee. I think the tour guide is the first employee that you want to hire, followed closely by maintenance. Um, and then once you start building food stands and gift shops and stuff like that, you'll need concessions. And uh, management is basically just so people won't quit on you. You can play without a manager, but uh, you might find yourself going back relatively often to uh, rehire new people. <laughs> Which I don't know if that's uh, that's what you want to do. Maybe not. I think Hypsilophodon is what we are going to go for. I have to check. His climate is desert, so uh, yeah, one one unit of vegetation per week is not much at all. So we're, we're going to be able to feed this guy nice and easy. Nice and easy. And there are, are quite a few um, options as far as dinosaurs go. But we're starting cheap. Obviously you can get Triceratopses. Ooh, Vegasaurus. What's a Vegasaurus? Wow, Red Velvet Era. Uh-huh, he likes air-conditioned climate. <laughs> so we'll buy that, 25000 if we have the chance. Um, yeah, I think I've tried buying that before with my cousin. And it doesn't go according to plan. Spoilers! Anyways, we'll get some uh, some f fungus and moss to feed our Hypsilophodon. And this will be enough for 30 weeks, which uh, seems quite good. Flower seeds are what grows best in the desert. Uh, tree seedlings do best in the marsh. I assume fungus spores do best in the plains, but um, don't quote me on that just because I I, I, mm, I don't know for sure. So 25 units of flower seeds seems like a good idea to me, and uh, I think that's the last thing that we need to buy. Oh no, we could set admission, admission prices. The best price uh, generally throughout the year is five doll hairs, so you're Gonna want to set it up as $5 for most of the seasons. You might drop it for just a little bit uh, in the slower seasons. Like, I know that summer is gonna be a troubling season for me, so maybe I'll do $4.50. Save yourself 50 cents, you know what I mean? I'm a nice guy. <laughs> Go spend that on a gumball. And uh, we'll select the park icon to start. Hooray! It's all going according to plan. Look at all that money. Money's just rolling in. At the end of the year, you do have to pay taxes, however. And uh, I like to keep a nice cushion of about $5,000. Um, parking lot is probably the first thing that you want to upgrade, just so you can shove more visitors into the park. And uh, it looks like this is a pretty good um, season for the desert climate. I'm not really sure 100% <laughs> about what the... 
the slow seasons are or the peak seasons. Uh, but that's because I played this game 15, 20 years ago. So that's to be expected, I suppose. Look at all these little people. Unholy shit, the cops are here. They know it's going to be like Jurassic Park in just a minute. Oh, yeah. And in that one month, we made uh, quite a bit of money. That's really nice. I'm going to go check out the office for just a second. And we'll see uh, how many people visited the park. 45 people. That's just yesterday. We're doing really good. It's obviously not real time. Um, because it's really, really an old game. <laughs> but, yeah. I prefer this to something like Roller Coaster Tycoon. You can just kind of chill out, sit back. Let your dinos do their things, and uh, once I get to 15,000, that is when I will buy a parking lot so I can shove more visitors in here. I think you can upgrade the parking lot three times or something like that, and that's probably the first thing that you want to do. Bang, 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 as soon as possible, uh, as long as your dinosaurs aren't escaping or something like that, which ugh, it might be a good idea to hire a maintenance guy right about now. But I'm gonna roll the dice. I really want to get that parking lot going because then you can really see the uh, the maximum value of concessionaire stands and gift shops and things like that. You make them all money. You see? You like to make them all money. I could go buy the parking lot now, but if I bought the parking lot and then this dinosaur escaped, I would be completely screwed. He is my one and only chance for survival. Little buddy... Little, uh, what is it? Ornithomimus, I think? Yeah. Something like that. They looked a lot smaller on Jurassic Park. I remember the kid pointing out an Ornithomimus. But, uh, they do only eat one unit of vegetation per week, so I guess maybe that's fitting? I don't know. He looks bigger than the fucking people <laughs> from here. Oh, it's the end of the winter quarter. So I guess winter is the best time to come to the desert. That does make good sense to me. Probably not so good for the marsh because it's wet. But uh, that's all conjecture. I don't really know for sure. We're getting up near the... Uh... Oh, there's an auction today. Maybe they have another Ornithomimus that I could buy. Or Hypsilophodon. Is it a Hypsilophodon? I don't know. Bit better over. Crazy old coot. And then you can click on these guys and learn... Uh... Learn about them. Frizz Falung, genetic research engineer working on secret government project dealing with dinosaur relativity. So he's got that government money, son. He doesn't give a fuck. And uh, 950, hopefully I could save. Nope, that straw hat guy's not gonna let me get away with it. Um, I think 1250 is what this thing costs. So I'll go up to that. Why not? Just because I want to get a second one in there. More people will come to the park. And now I think uh, they're overpaying just a little bit. So, nope, nope, not going to do it. Mm -mm -mm. I will go by that parking lot after, as long as there's not another surprise in here. Thanks for coming, folks. Yep. You're welcome, auctioneer man. You're so friendly. You're so wonderful. And uh, let's let's do the parking lot. Let's do the parking lot. Hell yeah. $15,000, not that hard to make. You just gotta stack it up. Stack, stack, stack it up. Uh, stack it up. Uh, stack it up. Uh. Alright. We got a good parking lot. I think it's just made of gravel at the moment. But you can pave it if you got another $10,000. I do not. <laughs> and all the cars changed. I guess that makes sense. You gotta get out of the parking lot in order for me to pave it. So, I thank you for uh, allowing me to do so. Now I can shove more visitors into the park, although probably the winter season is the strongest season. So I could go advertise or something like that, but I'm mm, not going to do it. We'll just sit on it for now. I could also upgrade something else, buy another dinosaur. Hmm. It seems like a good idea, but really, like I said, pumping the parking lot is probably the best thing to do during the first year. Uh... When you get into your second year, I think that's when dinosaurs start breaking out. So then you're basically required to buy a maintenance man. And uh, maybe in your second year, people start quitting because of no manager too. So we'll have to start hiring some people, which will interrupt my cash flow just a little bit. 
But um, I do want to get this parking lot done and done with as best as I can. Yeah! Yeah! Two upgrades already. So now there should be more people flowing into the park. Little more money in the Dayton does his pocket. And yeah, you can see that money stacking up real good. That parking lot is uh, an extremely important investment if you're hoping to go anywhere in Dino Park Tycoon investing your parking lot and then I'm pretty sure the one with the lines is the last one you saw the yellow lines between the cars so we've paved our parking lot now and then we just have to pay ten thousand dollars for some guy to paint lines really I'll go out there and do it my fucking self I don't care <laughs> and uh, we're in June which is nice we're, we're gonna make it pretty well in the first year here I thank you thank and there we go, another 15k, so we can finish up that parking lot. And then the trouble starts, you have to start buying concessionaire, concessionaires for your food stand and your gift stand and all that stuff. Um, but I'm not going to worry about it for now. That is the end of spring. Let's see, staff okay? Vandals are destroying food containers, okay. So we could hire a maintenance guy and security maybe. Let's do the maintenance guy first, and then we'll see how the, the flow of money is. It'll probably be staunch just a little bit, and I want to see what they got at auction. Hypsilophodon, another one. All right, third bidder over. Do you hear 800? Yes, from the glove person in the back. That's me. I'm wearing a weird glove, and what color is my arm? My arm is fucking the color of death. I think I'm a corpse that decided I wanted to fucking run a dino park. I wanted to be a dino park tycoon from beyond the grave! Oh my god. 1250? Alright. I'll try it. Maybe it's 1500. Hmm, I might be thinking of something else. I'll, I'll, I'll put in one more bid. It's probably not the best idea. Nope. Alright, that's it. Ain't gonna do it. Ain't gonna do it. Check. Thank you so much. I am out of here. And it's probably a good idea because I do need to save some money. And look at this. My parking lot is now completely upgraded. For spending so much money, I did get a, a sweet volcano. Which is, which is nice. I like that a lot. Land is super, super cheap. I could go buy a bunch of land. I, I don't understand how I own the park, but I don't own the land. I guess it's like Disney World. They have to buy land so they can expand. And they're like, oh, here's California Adventure. And nobody goes to it, which makes a lot of sense because there's only like four rides or some shit. Or that's how it was when I went. But that, again, was years and years and years ago. I don't have that many experiences, except for going to the Philippines, which was fucking awesome. Um, if you've watched those videos, I hope you are enjoying them, because that was quite an adventure for me. Mm-hmm, yes indeed. I'm gonna go check on my food situation, and I think the seeds should be doing something. Okay, we've got five units of seeds left still, and uh, it has increased the amount of grass and flowers that we have. So uh, let's let's buy some more seeds. That's pretty inexpensive. And that is a way to keep your uh, food supply going. It seems like the maintenance guy didn't cause that much trouble. So I might go hire a security guy now. And hopefully that's the right choice. <laughs> I'm not really sure. I just know I have a dino park to run. And uh, September, yep, we're getting down to the end. Getting to the skinny of year one. I hope uh, some of my tips has has have helped you so you can uh, be a dino park tycoon of your very very own I probably should uh, build another pen and things like that so I will just so when we get into the next year we'll be ready we'll be like hey next year new dino check it out check this shit out and I want a cement wall I really do we have enough to do it so I'm gonna do it and if it breaks, if the dinosaur breaks out of it, then I will fucking cry. So we need to make sure the dinosaur that we put in there is uh, a desert dweller. So let's see. 
Hmm. Sarlophophus? I don't know what that is, but he likes the plains. Likes the marsh? Plains. See what I mean? Most of the animals enjoy the plains, so it's uh, difficult to keep them contained in the desert. Um, let's see. Yeah. We need to start buying meat if we buy the Solophysis. Celloophysis. He's made of cellophane. That's what I get from that. <laughs> so we'll we'll pick up a cellophysis. And I'll skip the animation for that. Stick him in there. And definitely need to get some meat. Which is troubling because um Meat costs more. It is definitely not a renewable sort of thing, but it will do for now. He only eats one a week, so that's enough for like two years. Unless we buy another one at auction right now. I've got $4,000 to spend, so let's go ahead. Let's bid. Let's do a little bidding. And hopefully that guy with the government money is going to stay the fuck out of my way. The thing in his hat. The man with the thing in his hat. <laughs> the man with the thing in his pants. That's me. That's why I gotta wear a glove all the time, so CSI doesn't know. That joke doesn't make any sense. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Anyways, hopefully I can win this thing. It looks like I might. I think I overpaid a little bit, but that's just fine. We've got another Hypsilophodon. Hooray! Two Hypsies. Oh. Oh. And there's a second dinosaur up for bid that is the same as the dinosaur that I currently have in a pen. So if I could also have two of those, I think that would be extremely ideal. Um, I think I paid $12.50 for that one as well. Don't bid against me. Damn it. It's the guy with the government money. The old guy. Look at him. He's just spending money. He's like, I don't know where this money comes from. Taxpayers, whatever. $12.50, I think that's about the cap. Now we're overpaying. I'm not gonna do it. You can have it, lady. I don't even give a shit. Whatever. That dinosaur just showed up. Okay? He, he, you don't, you don't put a new dinosaur in the exhibit and then say, oh, also, here's a friend. Because that doubles up the stress that you're putting on your dinosaurs. And also the stress that, uh, is put on my meat supply. I should not have put a carnivore next to an herbivore. It would have been better if I built over here somewhere, but, um, there's, there's time to readjust. Hopefully everything's gonna work out just fine. Look at how cute he is. I like him a lot. He walks back and forth and looks at the camera, and this guy just hops up and down, which is not as exciting. I don't like him as much. <laughs> but they do like my volcano. That shit is awesome. You think people are here for the volcanoes or for the dinosaurs? Also, holy shit, there's a lot of, uh, yellow cars. Neon-colored cars out there. I don't- I don't know where you people come from. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Yeah, we're making a lot of money. This is a good thing. I'm going to hire somebody else. Like a vet. We need a vet. And then once I open up some, uh, some gift stands and whatnot, we can start doing other shits. I could buy up all the real estate as well, but... Mm, eh. Ah! Skateboarding dinosaur! That's badass. That is from... That is 90s as fuck. I'll tell you that much. So let's buy a food stand and a gift stand. And then hopefully I won't go completely broke trying to uh, pay all the concessionaires and such. We'll hire two of them. Alright, that's good. Maybe some management. I don't know. I just don't know. If my money starts dropping, then I'll know. <laughs> but it is December, so, um... Yeah. It should show up on the little graph. At the end of the year, you can go in your book. Oh, look! We got a fountain! How nice! A fountain! So are we gonna drop under 20,000? No, I don't think so. We've got the money flowing in. With gifts and concessions and all this stuff going, um, we're looking pretty good. It does cost me like $2,000 a month to pay all the employees, but that's just fine. We're doing pretty good. I like the way my dino park is shaping up. 
And uh, most of that is thanks to the parking lot. Please, please, upgrade the parking lot if you're going to play this game and you want to go places. Um, <clears throat> it could have been one episode, a really short episode. There was like a, a six minute fail where the dinosaur broke out immediately. Oh, income tax was fucking huge for the park. It's a good thing I kept a bunch of money on hand. Anyways, end of the first year. I'll make any changes. Um, let's let's have a look at my my profits and loss for year number one. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's really good. Look at all that income. So we are doing a lot better with the food stands and the concession stands and whatever else. <sighs> this has been episode one of Dino Park Tycoon. I hope you'll join me for year number two, friends. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. And if you do, friends, I'll send you some wallpaper. It's a floral pattern. It's quite nice. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you in the next one, friends. And until then, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.